All right, welcome to Friday's show. Welcome to the TigerChannel.org show. We've got a great show today. We have Michaela Wells on the show going to state tomorrow in tennis. We also have the coach. But first, announcements. FBLA will be hosting the Drive One fundraiser and craft show on November 1st at Warrensburg High School. The fundraiser is open to everyone over 18 with a driver's license who wants to test drive brand new Ford vehicles for free. For every test drive, Ford will donate $20 to our local FBLA chapter. The craft show is open to all vendors. If you want a booth, please contact Miss Meyer for reservations. Also, remember that FBLA membership is still open to any student interested in joining. Being a business class is not a requirement. So if you like opportunities for community service, leadership, competitions, and travel, See Miss Meyer in room 81 about joining FBLA. Also, sign up for ACT tutoring for the December test date in the guidance office or Mr. Richner's room 209 until October 23rd. Anyone interested in Girl Swim, please stop by room 128 to see Coach Van Cleve for season information. And senior ad forms are available for the main office, attendance office, and from any yearbook staff member. Uh, these should be turned into Mr. Howard or the main office. That's about it. All right, don't forget the Tisher Family Benefit Chili Supper and Dessert Gift Basket Auction. <laughs> Easy for me to say. Tongue twister. For the adults, it's $8. For children, $4. Cami Plymel has those tickets. And today, we will announce the next word. Ooh. Is this going to be a two-parter or just a one? I don't know. Right. Let's see <laughs> yesterday, if he knows how big a word is. Yesterday, we said the, the word of the day was the tiger. Well, you gave them the yesterday's word, and now they're going to know. That's fine. It builds suspense. I thought the point was you got to get them each where every day. And they it either builds suspense or it totally wrecks suspense. Well, there you go. One or the other. All right. Okay, today's word is sleeps. The tiger sleeps. You tell me that sentence at the end of the week, and I'll give you two tickets, two teen tickets for the Tisher family benefit. All right, Aubrey, what's going on? We have a varsity football versus O'Hara at 7 o'clock p.m., and that is senior night, and this is home. Um, our away games are girls tennis at, um, at state, singles slash doubles tournament in Springfield. And we also have a robotics club, robotics club at best competition at SFCC. And on Saturday, we actually have some things happening. The band is going to be do the UCM homecoming parade. That's happening this weekend. I'm sorry, I was just excited. You're so excited that you just <laughs> forgot what you were saying. I'm sorry. Completely. Yeah. And just totally interrupted. That. Also, robotics is I guess it's continuing on to the next day. The robotics club is doing is at best competition at SFCC and girls tennis at state singles slash doubles tournament in Springfield. Wow. You know, every year State? Oh, announcements are over. Every year I try to get into the parade and I'm always <laughs> turned back. <I've>, so <laughs> I had to do anybody out there. I've been in the parade quite a few times uh -huh. through center stage uh -huh. and dancing that entire time is a blast. Yeah. So you I, can either dance all the time or sit on the side and get the freak. When I was a freshman, yeah. we had to march <laughs> know, the entire it's tough, time. It's 50-50. It not, not very fun. <laughs> it gets very sweaty in those suits. Well, once I walked in the parade with my son, it was great because, but but he would be saying hi to people and I would have to catch him up and then me catch up. And But it was the greatest mile and a half of uh, my life, I it's think. It's basically walking, isn't it? Walking with people who love you and say hi to you and, and are walking uh, with nice wave at you right. and give you candy, love, throw candy at you. That's, I yeah. always love seeing people in the sidelines when I'm actually in the parade. I like know. seeing people and going, "Oh hey, how's it's it going?" And like, then dancing again. It's right. a streamlined version of Halloween, kind of. Yes, but then there's the walking for a mile and a half. Right. <laughs> the, well, not for the people uh, giving think, out the candy. Uh, I mean, <laughs> that's the down. The people on the sidelines. It's pretty. All right, great. we have Michaela Wells. Michaela Wells, you're one of the best tennis players in the state. That's what we hear. Is that? I know you're humble, so you will not say, yeah, well, there it is. So uh, can you tell us about your tennis year and um, uh, also tomorrow? I went undefeated this tennis season, um, and that was the biggest, uh, big accomplishment. Uh, we had a really good season as a team. We made it to the Elite Eight, which we are checking to see if that has happened in a long time. The history of has. Warrensburg girls tennis? Yeah. Um, we don't know, but we're checking into that. Uh, tomorrow, or I guess today, is going to be tough. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, you're not even here today. <laughs> I'm you're, not here you're today. You're in actually. Um, I'd actually probably be playing right now, but it's going to be tough, but I think we can make it, as in myself and our doubles team, Hallie and Anna. 
very, very humble of you to say, but you're really going to try to crush that other person, <laughs> isn't it? Whoever it is, you don't even know that person. It should, I... Come on, <laughs> just talk trash just for one second of your you life. Gotta, you gotta dig it. them and kill them or right. some volleyball them. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try. Oh, <laughs> okay, good deal. Well, it's funny, I did see one uh, tennis match this year and everybody's so polite there mm -hmm. because I wanted to go there and yell and go, hey, nice point, but everybody's uh, golf clapping. <laughs> oh, 15 love. They'll say, <laughs> all right. Way to go. Everything's uh -huh. real calm. Yeah. And fo Next serve. Football's quite a lot different. Yes, coach? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, people yell quite a lot of different things. 15 long! Right. <laughs> Suck up. All right, Michaela, good luck tomorrow. Thank My you. goodness, Thank we you. can't be prouder of you. Yeah. And you. Uh, we're just so happy. It seems like girls' tennis and girls' golf are both... Uh, Top of top of the list in, in this school. Good job. Thank you. All right, Coach Grindy, how was your last week in Nevada? Absolutely fantastic. It was really wet and muddy, and <laughs> our kids did a great job of responding to the conditions, and we came out on top. It looked real slick down there. Is that true? It looked yeah, like you know they have a Bermuda grass, which is just phenomenal when it's dry. But it was like running on top of a sponge with water in it um but it, it was it was uh the same for both teams and and uh, we did a great job with it it was perfect for your running game and in fact i thought you you were the best two and five team at the time and yes i i would agree with that and you know they have some very good football players um and we knew that and um we did a good job of of uh, i can just tell you the stats we had 510 yards of offense. They had 217. Wow. And, uh, you know, we had 417 yards rushing. So um, I think that's a, a pretty good testament to the domination that we had. There was a point where momentum shifted a little bit in the second half. Uh, we took a drive all the way down and ended up fumbling into the end zone. Um, but after that, our kids just got it together and – and rebounded, and we finished the game. Yeah, it was really a proud moment. Uh, so you guys are three and five this week. It's O'Hara. O'Hara's seven and one. What do you see going into that contest as important? Well, uh, again, there's a lot of important things, but you know we've got to do a great job of winning the next play because um, you can't ever bring obviously that previous play back. We've got to, you know, just understand we got to win that rep, that play, and. Whatever happens, happens, and then we got to go to the next one and not let it get us down or, or, or too high at the same time also. So uh, we've got to uh, do a great job of tackling, containing. They have some very good skill players. Their quarterback is an outstanding player, and he can run it and throw it. Um, so our defense has their work cut out for them, but I think we'll be up to the task. And it's senior night on Friday. I know you have a number of seniors that you're really proud of this year. I really am. And, you know, someone told me during the off season that – and I really kind of agreed with this person that uh, it's going to take a, a class or two to just take the bull by the horns and say, we're going to change this. And I can't give these guys enough credit for that. They have done a tremendous job of dedicating themselves to the cause and have bought in completely to what we're trying to do. And, and so I'd like to take a minute and just introduce – or, or reiterate the names and numbers of these guys so when you're out there you can know who they are number one is Bo Mackey he's a wide receiver and a defensive back and also a punt returner for us and kick returner number two is Robert Johnson also plays wide receiver and defensive back number 13 is Brad Cox uh, Brad plays a wing back and, a, and an outside linebacker for us number 15 is Nathan Griffith he is a quarterback for us uh, number 16 is Zach Nallen, who is a running back, also backs up as a defensive back for us. Uh, right now, Zach has almost 800 yards rushing for the year and is leading our team in that category. Number 18 is Maurice Ingram. He is a, also a wing back and an outside linebacker for us. Uh, number 44 is Kennedy Shaw. He is a running back and a, an inside linebacker, and Kennedy leads our team in scoring right now. Had three touchdowns against Nevada and a couple two-pointers also. Um, Steven Mursky is number 51. Steven is an offensive and defensive lineman. 
Number 52 is Jake Gard, also an offensive and defensive lineman. Number 58 is Nathan Crayer. He is an outside, uh, an offensive lineman and also an inside linebacker. Number 63 is Robert Piper. He is an offensive and defensive lineman. Number 66 is Nathan Bukers. He is also an uh, alignment on both sides of the ball. Number 72 is Colin Braun. Will also be an offensive and defensive lineman for us. Uh, Colin this past week had five tackles for loss, which was really impressive. Uh, did a really great job. And then last but certainly not least, number 85 is William Moulton. And William plays uh, kind of a wingback, linebacker, uh, defensive lineman, uh, running back for us, kind of a jack of all trades. Great special forces guy for us. Um, but that's our senior class. 14 guys that have just done a tremendous job, and I've had them all for four years, and I'm, I couldn't be prouder of that group uh, for staying in there and hanging in there and, and continuing to battle and being great teammates to each other. Uh, several of these guys have been captains for us through the year, and We'll again do that tonight, and, and we're looking forward to uh, a great night and, and uh, an opportunity to do some, some history, to be honest with you. You're right. Nathan, Zach, and Maurice are all friends of the show, so uh, our, our thoughts go out to them as well. Now, these are guys that have been with you for a long time. I know you're a, a guy who only talks about this week, but, I mean, four years in your program, that's saying a lot. It really is. We uh, demand a lot out of them, and not just on the field, off the field also, because I think that's the greatest thing about our sport is that it demands that character and and uh, discipline and, and diligence to, to pay attention to the details that uh, make you a better man. And it, was, it was hilarious when Maurice was uh, in here one day and – I'm, he was having a bad week that week, and I made him sit down next to you, and his behavior just increased tenfold. He just like uh, he 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 was kind of out of uh, out of character. Uh, well, yeah, it was like he was yeah. this way, and then when you came in, he was like, "Yes, sir, coach." So <laughs> that was awesome to see. Well, so, good he's job. a great young man. Good job on all that. I would also just for a minute, I'd like to congratulate Michaela and the tennis team. Uh, you know, state competition is rare. You look at how many schools there are. I think there's 360 schools in Missouri. And I know we're not all the same size and all that kind of stuff. But it's a rare thing to be able to say that you have done that. And so, Michaela, I congratulate you and your teammates. And you guys have done a great job. And that's a tribute to your hard work and your dedication and and uh, I, I reiterate what Ernie said earlier, that we're very, very proud of you guys, and we wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you. That means a lot. <laughs> All right, Coach, Teacher of the Week, you have one? Or? Yes, our Teacher of the Week this week is Mr. Chris Howard. All right. Woo. Also known as the Howie. What does the <laughs> Howie get to do for you? Well, I know he's going to be pretty busy. Uh, he's also the head soccer coach. So uh, in, in addition to many other hats he wears, I'm not sure – Exactly, but he'll have the opportunity to be with us on the sideline pregame, uh, after the game, all that kind of stuff. So. All right, and how about Top Gun? Our Top Gun leader again is Sheldon Blos. Our winner this week was Bo Mackey. Bo did a great job fielding punts in really poor conditions and had a really nice kick return. Um, I, I got to tell you, as a team, I give out helmet stickers for things that are above and beyond in the game, and I had to give out about. 85 of those this week which was really a good feeling to do it was a good week i tell you what it was a really great game all right well good luck against o'hara thank you and let me just mention this now I, i'm not making a big deal of this with our team but the history that i'm talking about is this if we win the game there is a 99.9 percent .9 chance we're going to host the next week in a playoff, which will be the first time that's happened in Warrensburg High School oh, wow. since 2001. So, wow, we're we're really looking forward to the the challenge this Friday, and and uh, when we come out on top, we're going to need us a great crowd the next week uh, because I really believe we can keep going. Yeah, I know you guys are peaking at the right time. Yes. Mm -hmm. As us theater kids say, I'm going to say to both of you, break a leg. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, Not literally, but I yeah. mean, you know. <laughs> yeah. Right. There's a reason they don't use that in the football. Uh, that is a theater thing. So good so. luck. All right. Good luck on all that. See ya. All right. Anything else? Have a good nope. Friday. Bye. Have a good weekend. Going on 14.